agriculture and global warming, an interdependent relationship. Introduction Agriculture refers to the practice of cultivating crops and rearing animals as well as various forms of life for food and fulfillment of other human needs. There are several systems used in food production including industrial agriculture, organic agriculture, and permaculture. These systems have similar objectives but apply different principles and methods. The two major forms of agricultural systems include crop cultivation and livestock production. Climate change and agriculture are interrelated in significant ways. Climate change affects agriculture in ways that include changes in rainfall amounts and distribution, rises in temperatures, and shifts in weather patterns. In addition, it affects the distribution and prevalence of diseases and pests, changes in carbon dioxide quantities in the atmosphere, and shifts in ground-level ozone concentrations. Agriculture and Global Warming Industrial farming results in the emission of huge amounts of greenhouse gases that pollute the environment. Industrial agriculture is the main system practiced by developed countries that have adequate resources. According to statistics, this system contributes approximately 20% of the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. On the other hand, using land for agricultural activities accounts for 12% of all greenhouse emissions in the world. Industrial farming encourages the use of fertilizers and pesticides which are major sources of pollutants. Additionally, the manufacture and use of farm inputs such as tractors and heavy machinery contribute significantly to the rising carbon footprint. Changes in global warming trends affect natural balance and the environment in ways that alter agricultural productivity. High amounts of heat affect agriculture because plants cannot adjust quickly to rapid changes in global temperatures and greenhouse concentrations in the atmosphere. The high carbon footprint interferes with natural processes such as the ecological and environmental recycling processes that are important in agriculture. The high carbon footprint from industrial agriculture causes elevation of carbon dioxide concentrations in the environment that consequently increase the rates of photosynthesis. However, this phenomenon has negative effects too. High amounts of carbon dioxide result in slow development of stomata that result in low usage of water by plants thus affecting their growth and productivity. Research has shown that high amounts of carbon dioxide lead to decreased concentrations of nutrients in plants thus lowering the quality of foliage produced. In addition, it affects the uptake of nitrogen from the environment. Animals are affected by this phenomenon because plants with low concentrations of nutrients affect their productivity and growth. Global warming affects soil fertility because it washes away the vital nutrients from the soil and also causes leaching. Global warming is characterized by high temperatures that result in a highly vigorous hydrological cycle that causes soil erosion. Changes in land use have also contributed to the high carbon footprint. Industrial agriculture promotes activities such as deforestation that raise soil temperatures. On the other hand, the use of pesticides, fertilizers, heavy farm machinery, and other chemicals pollute water bodies, air, and soil. Industrial agriculture promotes farming practices that emit huge amounts of greenhouse gases into the environment. Possible Effects on the Industry the high carbon footprint from industrial farming is likely to affect agriculture in various ways. It will lower agricultural production and affect the industry's potential to supply the growing global population with food and other necessities. The effects of the high carbon footprint on agriculture are likely to be negative because adequate measures are not being taken to address the challenge. High rates of environmental pollution, increases in emission of greenhouse gases from industrial agriculture, and ozone depletion will intensify the problem. If global warming persists, food insecurity is likely to rise because the food supply will be reduced. On the other hand, it is likely to result in a shift in agricultural zones towards the poles and changes in production patterns. The poor and the landless will be more vulnerable and there will be shifts in precipitation patterns. This means that the industry will move to new geographic regions that will not be heavily hit by the global warming scourge. The problem of a high carbon footprint and its effect on agriculture can be mitigated by embracing new technology and innovation. Poor people and small-scale farmers will be the most financially hit. In addition, 
businesses that sell agricultural products will suffer financially because of the high costs of farm products. Companies that focus on developing new technologies will benefit the most because there will be a need for new technologies to address the high carbon footprint of industrial agriculture. In past years, technological advances have helped humans increase production in agriculture and thus counter the problem of food insecurity. In the future, there will be a need for advanced technologies to counter the effects of global warming. Conclusion Global warming has severe implications for agriculture. It lowers productivity, increases carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere, leads to ozone depletion, and changes precipitation patterns. The high carbon footprint from industrial agriculture increases temperatures and solar radiation and causes uneven precipitation that lowers production and affects the hydrological cycle. In the future, there will be a need for technological advancements, the embracement of new strategies, and shifts of agricultural zones to new regions to counter the detrimental effects of global warming.